everyone, welcome back to 25 Suki's. Today for you, I'm going to be swatching the new Zoya Abundance Spring 2022 collection. It consists of six new polishes, and they're a really fun kind of collection that has a color story, which I always appreciate a nice collection with a good color story. It's kind of a mix of some pinks and some blue transitions into blues, so I'm really excited about it. There's one kind of shining star in this collection, in my opinion, so let's start swatching. The first shade we're checking out is called Tyler, and it is a really nice sort of navy blue shade. It's a bit bolder than, say, Sailor, and it has a bit more of like a cobalt tone to it than Sailor, but lovely formula. It applied perfectly in two coats. And if you are interested in some comparison videos, please let me know down below. And I'll try to get those on the calendar for April. The next shade is called Ellis. And this one is sort of a burgundy shade. And I say burgundy lightly because it pulls more of a magenta tone, but it's kind of getting you going in the right direction when you're thinking about colors, in my opinion. It also had a really great formula, and actually in one coat, it looked extremely good, like it looked full coverage in one coat, but I did go ahead and do a second coat, of course, for good measure, plus I just always prefer to wear my polishes in two coats anyway. But if I were going to do art on top, I could call it done at one and then do the art. The next shade is called a kit. And my camera freaks out on this one. But the more muted shade that you see on the camera is the more accurate representation of the color. So it's kind of like a muted mauvey pink shade covered really nicely in two coats. <laughs> and there is the full two coats. Then the next shade is called Gwen. And this one is even lighter than the last one. It has a streakier formula than the rest of the shades that we looked at, but it still does cover completely in two coats, and it does look really nice on. And we're going to go ahead and put on that second coat now. I think this one might actually perform a little bit better if you use the wide brush, but I always like to swatch them with the default smaller brushes just so you guys can have it at the default sh shape. <laughs> the way that the polish comes. Then the next shade is called Lena, and Lena is a really pretty purple, and this one was surprising. So I was expecting it to just be like a regular cream, but when I put it on, it had more of like a jelly feel, like I could really see through the polish, and it dried down to a sort of satiny finish, where it wasn't completely shiny, but not 100% matte either. So here is the second coat, and the color that you see where it's a bit more muted as well is also the accurate color. I don't know what was up with the camera and the saturation. Then the last shade is Elsa and this one is definitely my favorite. It is a cobalt blue. It has a really lovely kind of blue silvery shimmer in it but in addition to that it has a scattered holographic I can't speak today, sorry. Holographic glitter, and it's absolutely stunning. I love it when a mainstream polish brand does like a holographic glitter mixture of some sort because it's so unique for them to do. And this one is really lovely, covered perfectly in two coats, and it's oh so sparkly. So here's a look at the full collection. Overall, the colors really look nice together in my opinion. They create a good color story. And I think this is a really fun collection from Zoya for spring. So I cannot wait to hear what your guys' favorites were in the comments down below. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them down there. These polishes are available now, so I will have it linked to like down in the description box below directly to the Zoya website if you are interested in checking any of these out. And I think that covers everything. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye!